All right, guys, it's your boy Vasilek Rajapin here. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you my budget build and the stuff that's going on this car. As I haven't showed you a whole lot of uh, the bumper is not on, so it's still not adjusted. It's just kind of hanging in there to get it out of the way. But uh, got the hatching, got the carpet, console, doors are, you know, 90% complete. Um, but I also want to show you guys the stuff that's going in this build. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse the fact that my car is really messy right now, but I'm just going to go and show you guys what actually is going in this build. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, see, uh, what's the real struggle. So this bay is going to get full of goodies up in here. So as you see, we've got a K24A which is a uh, TSX uh, Euro R in Japan. It's supposed to have really low miles. A shout out to my boy, Works JDM, uh, Z320 with uh, all kinds of modified gears. So it should be a beast LSD, qualify LSD, fresh built. I'm still gonna have to clean it up and stuff, but that's the training that's gonna go in it. And I'm gonna go here and show you some of the stuff and tell you some of the people that uh, actually have helped along the way. Uh, despite the fact that I uh, got a whole bunch of OEM bolts and nuts that actually, actually already went in the build already that I didn't record. But I figured I showed you guys what I got going on here. So as you can tell, this is the rear molding for the glass and then the side glass and then the front glass and the weather strip and then the, the weather strip that goes on top. We got a type S oil pump. Uh, we got the uh, stage, I don't even know, five axles. Um, and uh, yeah, despite the fact that, yes, I know they're the old school, the Lenzos, very light. I think will look very good on my car. I'm keeping my stock brakes so I actually can swap those slicks. So it is going to be some uh, drag times on this car when it's ready to go. And again, and I'm gonna give shout out to some people. Shout out to my boy, uh, Skyline CX Racing that actually uh, hooked me up with those wheels, the RG2, RGD2 Advanced Racing. Those are awesome. Those are 15 by seven, uh, 15 by eight plus 35 with the 205, 50, 15 needles. Those are 13 inch slicks, uh, 13 by eight and a half. And uh, I believe those are 24s and a half. A little bit too big for our motor, but we'll see how that goes, you know? We start off right here. We got the K2 Neo intake pipes. We got this custom header that actually it's one off. It was built off by a shop here locally in uh, Springfield and they no longer in business or they made only like two or three headers. They, they built for the race car. This head actually came off my boy, uh, Papa Latte Racing. <laughs> actually this header right here made 250 some horsepower on a stock K24. I'm doing a lot more work to my K24, so I'm hoping to make that or more. Uh, we got some vibrant uh, piping. Okay, got the K2 muffler up in here, three inch with the big tip, so it's gonna set up. We got the vibrant racing, so shout out to Vibrant for uh, resonators. I got the two kind, the flex pipe. Got that one for the throttle body. We got the stainless steel for the exhaust. Also, I got a bunch of fittings to do the brake tuck. Uh, shout out to PCI for the side skirts and the P1 lip kit with the splitter. Also shout out to my boy Slimball for the awesome tail lights from UK. I got some rails up in here, got some brackets, we got the crow harnesses, which you know, that's what I'm rocking. Also shout out to Vivid Racing for those nice status carbon seats that we got up in here, here. Got the ring, you know what I'm saying? Those are a little bit narrow, so I definitely need to get a shape for those, but those are gonna be my seats. They're gonna be on my car. As you can tell, there's some wear on that one. I sat on that one in the house. Uh, what else? We'll go back here. Uh, pretty much everything of K2 from the suspension, from the Cadillac, we got everything. Front suspension, roller suspension, low control arms, front, lower control arms for the rear, low control for the front. We got the, the front uh, rack and pinion, uh, uh, um, bar joint. We got the lower bar joint for the arm. It's got those dampeners. You got the tie, the tie rod 
for the for the rear uh, camera kit and then we got the ones for uh, uh what do you call it this is for the for the camera for the trailing arm and that's for the camera for the rear a arms we got the uh k series suspension up in here this is my first time that i'm running 32 way adjustable k tune for the street uh k tune uh you know uh, alternator delete kit k tune uh for the radiator uh, uh water neck delete uh, thermostat housing got the k24 up in here uh bracket for the engine uh of course radiator cap we got all the fittings the 90s that actually is gonna go in it and actually i thought i had more than that we got one two three four one four I don't know, I'm gonna have to order more anyways. Uh got the ASR's uh uh NRG uh suspension, Wobber 255, got that uh drug cartel breeder. Shout out to uh uh Prainto Racing. Uh, my boy Gringa hooked up some injectors. Those are uh uh fuel injectors, fuel clinic injectors, uh 560s I believe. Uh got the concept 36 millimeter hubs. We got some gauges, temperature, and Y-band. Also, shout out to my boy again. Same guy that gave me the wheels for the spoon calipers and rotors. We got the fast brakes rear rotors to match the front. Uh, stop tech uh, pads. Uh, we got all the weather strips moldings. We got the rear glass, all OEM, brand new. Um, TPS sensor, dipstick, throttle body cable, clutch line. Uh, we've got the MPC drop forks for the suspension, so those are gonna go on the suspension. It's gonna look nice and clean. I also got my braided lines, which are right there. So we got the braided lines. Uh, K-tune race pack shifter with race pack uh, cables. Uh, shift knob, we've got two. The longer one, the red one and the black. Um, we got the Hasport mounts. Um, we got the red inserts and the black inserts, so I'll probably do the black inserts street for for the two side ones. And then I'm going to leave the red one, the solid one for the rear. So we're going to leave that one for the rear, but uh, make it more solid in the rear. And then, of course, I got the uh, fifth gear lockout. I got the stoppers. Uh, got some couplers from K-Tune. Got the 72 millimeter throttle body, which we're going to run a V-band for that. Uh, got another oil pump, OEM. We got the fuel system, all the lines, a tie par, valve cover. We got a RBC manifold, brand new. We got the, of course, the fuel rail, some OEM um, um, oil filters. Shout out to Downstar, Downstar right here. Man, we got all kinds of goodies up in here. It's gonna go on this motor, so we got all oh, that good stuff is gonna go in. I don't even know where most of the stuff is gonna go. As well, shout out to. Action clutch, stage three, with a carbon disc. Yeah, later on, if I want to upgrade for more power, all I'm doing is just upgrading the disc. So we got the stage three uh, pressure plate. No, stage five pressure plate with the stage three disc. Can't quite remember. I think that's what it was. Anyways, we got also the K2, uh, the, we got the, uh, the Downstar uh, shift knob, which uh, I hope it's gonna bolt up in there. Yeah, there you have it. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Boom, boom. Some solid shifting. So I got three shift knobs. But hey, you know, uh, they have some limited black ones. And I had the money and I bought it. Right now, I'm just hella broke. So pretty much when I sold my uh, car, just the blue one. And just pretty much invested in building this one. And didn't want to really uh, chip out on the build. So... Um, Put this right here. There you go. I don't want to drop it, so I'll just set it up right there. Uh, also, I got this custom uh, overflow. Got the fuel lines. Of course, we got the Momo steering wheel. I always like the Momo and uh, personal, but I figured we just switch it up a little bit. We got the Momo spoon calipers. Got the Odyssey battery. Shout out to my boy Richard for Speed Factory radiator with the dual fans. Top our cluster. We also have the VIS uh, common fiber hood, password JDM. Dog belt's gonna go in the trunk. Tin uh, dampeners for the for the hood and uh, a custom uh, bezel for uh, uh, for the cluster. Okay, I'm tripping. 
I got the Wireworks, uh, no, Chase Bay. Chase Bay, um, what do you call it? Um, a harness and a cab harness. And actually, I forgot one thing. I do have uh, the Chase Bay, I have the Chase Bay uh, power steering uh, overflow that I did not pull out. I left it over here. It's a good thing I remember. So I gotta pull this one out too, show you guys what's up. You see that? We should have set it right here, huh? What do you guys think? Show you guys. This is nice. See that? It's from Chase Bay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much what is going in this build. I figured I'd just share with you guys and uh, what I have and what it's going in. And uh, and um, yeah, I mean, just kind of keep an eye on this build and uh, wait till it comes out. And uh, definitely uh, it's going to be some serious abuse. But before anything, before anything, you know what I mean? Before I even get up this live video, you know, just want to let you know, guys, that, you know, everything is possible. And uh, yes, I've been blessed. God has been good. Uh, and um, I give all the credit to God, to be honest, you know, some people say, hey, why I was bring God into this, you know, because that's my faith and that's my belief, you know, some people don't want to listen and they don't want to have part of it or hear what I have to say. They can just now, you know, click off or just go watch something else or whatever, you know, but no, that's my belief. And I give God the glory on this and everything, you know, and, uh, you know, my whole goal and and purpose is to inspire and to help and motivate and use this gift and this knowledge that God blessed me with to help others. And I've been doing that all along, not just building my car. I'm dealing with a lot of you guys out there. You know who you are and asking you questions and helping you with your build and FaceTime and whatever I can to help you and taking time away out of my family, out of my build to help you out as well. And hopefully some of you guys really appreciate that because I do have a lot in my hands and, uh, you know, I, I do it because I, you know, I have love and passion for this and I stand by what I do. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, God has been great. Uh, again, you know, shout out to all the supporters that's uh, been along the way and helped out. And, uh, and there's still more stuff to come that's it's not here yet, but you know, we just kind of take one step at a time, try to get it done. But, you see, all this junk right here needs to go in the car. So, yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and also press that bell button. So when I upload a video, you can, you'll be the first one to watch it, or second or third, whichever, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, this is not about to get subscribers, to give yours is to pass on knowledge, motivation to the car community, to the people that are just like me, uh, you know, a stay home dad or, you know, dealing with the struggle, building a car and juggle the kids and the family and the wife and the house and everything that comes with it to, to get something done, you know, and I, hopefully this works out and inspire a lot of you guys. And, um, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm going to get off here and probably just wrap all this stuff and put it back and start working. I would like to get the suspension done and then just kind of put the car on wheels and stuff and then just work on the wiring, other stuff, things like that, you know? But again, guys, God gets the credit. Love you guys. And I got one more thing for you. And this is uh, very important. Forget the car stuff, forget the parts, forget the build. This is very important, you know what I'm saying? If you don't get this, and I mentioned it before, I don't know what else to tell you. And I mean this. I mean, when I say it, you can lick it to my eyes. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I know the people, there are people out there that actually, they're just not honest in this or whatever. But I just want to let you know that you're awesome. Okay. Deep inside, you're awesome. I don't care what they tell you, your sister, your dad, your mom, your ex-wife, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, whatever, whoever that is, co-worker, employee, 
you know, college, whatever, you're awesome. Don't forget that. God bless you. Have a great one. And I'll catch you on the next video. Yo, 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 yo. I'm out.